Hey guys, welcome back to the Detailing Space. Today I've just got a quick video. So I've been tidying out a lot of my plastic drawers just here. Um, sorting out my microfibers. So apologies for the audio has gone bad. And a load of pads. So we'll be seeing that coming soon. But one thing I just wanted to check in with you guys. How do you sort your microfibers? So for me, I typically have like really plush ones for, well I'd say wax removal, but I've not waxed the car for like two years now. Um, then we have, I've got a bunch of work ones here. These just used for all sorts. Basically I got them from Jim White, I think. Um, just good for basically spills and probably engine cleaning. And then I've got a bunch of glass cloths and other things in here. Um, but I use, and these have like been heavily worn up top here. And then this box is typically fresh yellow microfibers that we're all familiar with. Now the reason I'm doing this video, and it feels like I've just rushed that, is there's a new brand to market now. Oh, I say new brand now, I think they've been going about a year now, but they seem to have hit every single YouTuber and influencer in the UK at the least. And that is microfiber. And yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll put this camera down and we'll quickly look at some of these. So microfiber, as I said, so everyone it seems a whole bunch of products. We've got scrub pads, we've got glass cloths, we've got huge, huge bundles like that. They've also sent wash mitts, drying towels, everything you can think of. So first of all, I want to say a huge thank you to microfiber for sending these out. And one of the reasons I'm mentioning this now and doing this video is as organizing, I've always had this idea in my mind, <laughs> you know, it's probably one of these ideas I've had for like 10 years, maybe since I started detailing 15, 20 years ago, colour coding cloths. But really, is that feasible? Like, I will get through a hell of a lot more exterior cloths than I probably would definitely engine bay. I very rarely clean my engine bay. Um, or interior cloths. So is it worth colour coding? Or, or so then the reason I mention that is, this pack here, you can buy just blue, just yellow, just pinky red, just orange if you wish. But they also do that nice multicolored bundle, which means if you do want to color coordinate, happy days. But should I be doing that? Should I just keep doing as I do? I know they're my good cloths on the left, so it's mainly yellow Kirkland style ones, and then some plusher for quick detailers and waxers. And then on the right hand side, I know typically the ones at the top are almost on the last legs, probably use them for tar removal, bits of wheels, or you know, wiping off excess tire dressing, that kind of stuff, and that would be glass cloths as well. So do I continue doing it that way or do I colour coordinate? That's a, that's you know kind of what I'm thinking. Um I just want to mention as well, whilst I'm talking this through, um, some of these cloths are really, really good. So from my tribe, we've got this Nedge. I think this is a five pack for 1475, um, 450 GSM. I've not got a chance to use these yet, but they do feel really, really nice. Let's see if I can get one out. They're a 7030 blend as well. Um, try and put you guys down again. Sorry you're feeling seasick. And as you would expect something like this now, I mean, they've got the stamp on them. So branded my tribe but the laser cut as well. So the seamless edges, um, like many, many other microfiber companies that you know of. And I just want to say as well, that it's nice to see, I guess, a new accessory company come out. It's just a little bit different. We have a lot of chemicals to pick from, especially here in the UK, but all across the world, to be quite honest. Um, but yeah, the, you know, most, most chemical manufacturers will supply cloths as well. Typically they don't, they're not pushing them as that. I've just lost focus. So they're not typically pushing them as the number one sort of come to us for this reason. Obviously you go to brand A, B, X, Y, Z because you want their chemicals, but they typically will have, let's say white label cloths that you can buy um, from them. But anyway, enough about that. I want to say the drying towel, absolutely fantastic. That's an 800 GSM drying towel. I think it's about 15 pounds. Um, yeah, twisted loop, as you'd expect once again. And what else did they send? They sent over a small like wheel mitt, so I can do this one-handed. I can. 
Um, inside they've stitched a little bit, you can see with fingers, they've put a little stitch in there, there's a little thumb ring bit there, so ideal for using your, on your wheels, I use it on my door shuts, I typically don't clean wheels with mitts, um, and I don't really wear mitts, I don't know why I always buy mitts, let's try and get this one out, there we go, so we've got the regular ET, if I can wear this, one handed, ah, so once again, sorry for the shake, they've got a little cut out in here and I, well, you know what, I'm not gonna cut it off. Like I probably could get some scissors in there and snip that. But as I say, I do use these as wash pads rather than mitts. I should just fold these inside, sew them up or whatever. Nine pound 80 for that, really nice and thick as well. Does hold a hell of a lot of product. What else do they send? They also sent, oh, this couple of scrubbers, uh, £6.20. They look on the large side as well, actually. So they're very useful. We've all familiar with these. It's like a, almost a fine brush texture on one side, microfab on the other. Glass cloths will come to this. In fact, no, we'll mention this now once again. This is a very, very quick, short video. I'll say short. Glass cloths. So, before using this, I've tried doing a little bit of research. In fact, let me just move the camera over here where, you know, get some more light on me and not blind you guys. Oh, where are we going? Yeah, so before I did this, I watched a couple of the videos, a couple of the YouTubers, see what they do. And Dave, Epic Car Show, Dave. I did wonder, like, what is this technology? Like, it doesn't stretch that way. It doesn't stretch that way, but pull it on the diagonal it's got some stretch in it. It feels weird. Here, have a feel. Oh, you can't. It feels weird. Now, I can't say I've ever worn one. The only thing I can think it feels like is, I want to say that neoprene material. I've had, you know, like for knee braces, um, straps that you put around your arm if you go running. I do. I'm starting going again and put your mobile phone in. It feels like that. Dave actually likened it to a wetsuit. As I said, I've never worn a wetsuit, so I don't know, but it's weird but it probably is one of the best glass towels I've used so far. <laughs> like, I, I, I hate doing glass. Well, I don't hate doing glass, but it's not the most enjoyable part. But yeah, doing glass with that, absolutely amazing. And now I'm a bit concerned, you're crooked. So we're gonna move you over here. We're all literally all over the garage today. So I hope you're having fun here. Um, and then that finally brings you on to, oh, and there, 17 pound, 17 pound. Called Crystal 700 GSM um, for a three pack, but they are quite big. Like when I say quite big, that's another thing, they are massive. Um, that brings me on to this then. So, as I say, every probably detailer, valetor, every man and his dog with a Costco account, an Amazon account, or whatever, has a packet of these. And if you say you never have used these, you're probably lying, or you just don't want to admit it on the internet. Nothing really wrong with these some of the best detailers I've visited and that I know have these I have I've seen them stashed away <laughs> there's absolutely nothing wrong with these and for the price I want to say you can get like a pack of these it's pack of 36 40 by 40 centimeters like 18 pounds so I quickly have a look on Amazon now um as I say they're decent enough where is Amazon and Kirkland microfiber cloths they are 26 quid now. That's US dollars. I don't know why my Amazon's brought it up in dollars and not pounds. But anyway, $26. Chris, that's probably about right. Probably about right. 26 pounds. Let's just convert it to pounds. 26 pounds. For 36, and say so you can't really go wrong. As you can see, always got, I've got a pack on the go. That's why this one is still closed. Now these, I'll be quite honest with you. They feel pretty much the same. Could be, who knows? I don't know where to get them from. They don't have the tags on, which is already a thumbs up over these. Not that taking tags off is a pain in the ass, but when I look around my garage floor, I just take them off and they're just on the floor. And it also ruins the edge, just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, so they've got the sewn edges. Now, because they don't mention the blend, I am going to assume they are 80-20 rather than a 70-30 blend. That is just the same as these. These are also an 80-20. But, what I will also say, this is a 40 pack, so you get four extra. 
and it's 29.99. In fact, I've got it scribbled on the bottom of here. It's 25 pound 10 for some Kirklands. So it's like nearly, let's just say for the sake of argument, five pound more, you get a couple extra and you can get any multicolors as well. So that's great because Kirkland pretty much only ever come in yellow. That's a quick rundown then of some products. I wasn't sure where, where I was really going with that. Again, thanks very much to Microfiber for sending these out. Um, I hope you guys don't feel too seasick from watching this handheld footage. Um, as I said, I've not used everything yet, you can tell. I've not even used these yet, um, but from sticking my finger through the hole, they do almost feel similar to the Kirkland. So I will be doing a full review on this. Make sure you like and su subscribe to this channel. If you'd like me to compare these to some other known microfiber brands out there, let me know in the comments below because, yeah, there are one or two brands already established. These are the new kids on the block. So if you want to see how these stack up against the well-established guys already, let me know below. But as I probably will do a full review video on this soon. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this rather spontaneous video. And uh, we'll see you next week with more regular content.